Hey guys, today I'll be doing the get to know me tag and I've been tagged by Julia. Let's start. What is your name? My name is Bart Kwan. Why were you given that name? Um, so my dad doesn't speak English very well and he's stupid. So um, he told me that he didn't really have too high hopes for me. So he didn't want my name to start with the A. So he gave it a B. He's like, just be a kind of average guy and B is average in Asian families, not C. And then he's really uh, motivated by this guy named General Patton during like World War II, I believe. So he was like, oh, that's a great general. So uh, I think he can't pronounce Patton. So he was like, we're gonna name you Barton. So none of that really makes sense, but my name is Barton. And then uh, ever since first grade, everyone called me Bart. So now it's Bart. What are your nicknames? My nickname is Bart, usually uh, badass, and usually Big Daddy Kwan. When is your birth month and day? My birth month is November and the birth date is 18. How tall are you? I am 5'9". What are you allergic to? I am allergic to cats and pollen sometimes. Do you have any body modifications? My nose itches. I might be allergic to something right now. Um, yes, I do. I have tattoos here, and then I also have tattoos here and a little bit here. And I used to have my ears pierced in high school. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. What is the story behind one of your scars? Um, this scar right here, I was racing uh, with my buddy. Actually, I wasn't voluntarily racing. I was just sitting shotgun. My homie was racing the other homie. Long story short, car started spinning out of control going down a hill at 80 miles an hour we slammed into a street light got hospitalized I was uh, unconscious ambulance took me away and then later I was just bleeding all over the place and I think what happened was there was like a watch that flew out of the glove compartment and cut me here and I just started bleeding all over the place anything weird on your body yes so I do have this uh, weird scar like right underneath my butt I don't really know what the fuck that really is, but the story that my parents tell me, and parents always lie by the way, so I don't even know if I should believe it. The story was, uh, one time my dad put me on the toilet to pee or something, and he left me there, he forgot about me, so when I crawled off, I knocked over a bathroom cleaner, and because I was only one years old, my skin just soaked it up, and then I have like this weird scar thing there, but that doesn't really make sense to me now, because if I've been sitting in bathroom cleaner, like. The whole time shouldn't all my skin be fucked up and just not a little spot. Fucking liar, mom. How many are in your immediate family? What's their relation to you? In my immediate family, it's just me and my two parents. And my parents are my parents to me. Who do you live with? Um, I live with Gio and I live with Nadim and my two puppies, Briggy and Fawn. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have one pet, Gio. What are your thoughts with your current living location situation? Do you love it, hate it, you moving soon? I actually love the house that I'm living in right now. This is a part of the video. But recently, this college that we live next to, there's this parking situation. They're parking all over the fucking place. So when I come home, I can't even find a place to park. But if you watch my vlogs, you'll see how I deal with that stuff. So I'm plugging in my own vlog right now. And then uh, what I don't like is there's no central AC, which fucking sucks ass because I'm always getting hot all the time. I'll probably start sweating by the end of this video. And so I don't like that either. But other than that, I really like how spacious it is. And a lot of my friends like to come here because it's very airy and well lit, as you can see. Are you single or taken? I am single! Do you believe in love at first sight? I uh, I don't believe in love at first sight. I do believe that people confuse that for fuck at first sight. Because sometimes you see this girl or guy and you're like, God damn! Why can't rape be legal? Do you believe in soulmates? Soulmates I do not believe in either because that's just fucking bullshit. We're all fucking animals. There's no weird like... Uh, well, I, at least I don't believe that there's like this supernatural force where one person's likes and dislikes is supposed to exactly match someone else's. I think you just find the closest and you guys make that shit work. And you're probably gonna fight all the fucking time, but that's what makes a relationship. Do you believe in kissing on the first date? Um, I do believe you can believe on the first date. I do believe in kissing on the first date. Who should pay on the first date? It's the 21st century, and I believe the first date should be split equally. Who should make the first move? Whoever feels compelled should make the first move. Do you like pursuing or being the one pursued? I like both. Have you ever been caught masturbating? Yes, I've been caught masturbating. So I've been, I was caught masturbating by my dad when I was uh, in junior high or high school. And I was just in the room at like 2 a.m. in the morning after I played Tetranet. 
and I was just like playing, rubbing my dick, and then I was like downloading these uh, these images that were like 56k and were like come out like this. So we couldn't even jack off the video. It was just images, and um, my dad comes in. He goes, "What the hell is that?" I'm like, "Oh shit!" And for some reason, he keeps telling me to stand up. And I'm like, "No, I don't want to stand. I will stand up right now." I'm like, "No, I don't want to stand." It's because I have my dick all out. It'd be weird to like show my dad my dick. And he calls my mom into the room, and then uh, it was just it was just a big old mess. And I never felt my ears feel that hot in my life. It was just like burning. I was like, "Fuck." get me out of here this is the weirdest fucking situation ever when you're pleasuring yourself and both of your parents know about it do you kiss with your eyes closed of course what would you instantly change about yourself if you could instantly I would make myself two to four inches taller what really makes you angry Gio what motivates you to work hard Gio what is your favorite thing about your career my favorite thing about my career is I'm a professional fuck arounder and um, we pretty much live the fantasy life that we create, but there are a lot of hard work and, and uh, conflicts here and there, but the flexibility and the ability to pretty much build this fake world that we live in is unlike anything else. What makes you laugh the hardest? I laugh the hardest at inappropriate things. For example, if I saw grandma get hit by a bus, I would laugh, but then I would run to help her. Or if I see like Jill slip and fall and she knocks out her two front teeth, I would laugh first. Oh, for example, there's actual incidents of this. Jill was, I was teaching Jill how to ride a longboard while being pulled by Tyson. And uh, Jill underestimated how fast Tyson was able to pull her. And then so she wanted to step off the longboard. As soon as she stepped off, her foot got caught on the floor and she flew forward and then she scraped her entire hand. I was busting up laughing first and then I was like, oh fuck, she's my girlfriend, I have to go help her. But two seconds doesn't make a difference. What makes you giggle? Uh, I don't know, I just like giggling. I don't really know what makes me giggle. Maybe tickles? The little tickles? <laughs> what makes you cry the easiest? Oh man, movies make me cry like a motherfucker. Anytime, like Kung Fu Panda, Big Hero 6, Friday Night Lights, Fast and the Furious. Everything makes me cry all the time. Anytime I see like teamwork, people coming together to, to overcome some obstacle, people being able to achieve their goals, actually just makes me cry like that. What are your two pet peeves? My first pet peeve, I hate it when I'm speaking to someone and they start to be irrational. That's what makes me fuck them up. If someone is willing to be logical with me, they don't have to agree with me and I don't have to agree with them, but we can still reach a agree to disagree and that's completely fine with me but when people are irrational with me then that makes me want to murder them and kill them uh, the second pet peeve is uh, is a uh, mainland Chinese people <laughs> the new ones that have been coming to the states the people that don't know the American culture that have their like babies peeing in a cup at a restaurant the people that drive like shit but they have a Ferrari those guys if you guys have these Huge influx of mainland Chinese people, you know what the hell we're, you're, I'm talking about. They're called mainlanders. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I'm definitely an introvert. I like to stay home all day and keep to myself. What is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is MMA because I feel like sport is it's an activity of competition and there are two opponents that have to beat each other and out of all the sports that I have played I guess the best way to put MMA is it's the, the most physical and strategic game ever. For example, I, I relate MMA to playing chess but being punched in the face before making decisions. And because of that, I feel like it's one of the most stimulating activities you can be a part of. And um, I think because of that, it, it makes MMA my favorite sport. Like I can only imagine what basketball NBA would be like if you're allowed to punch each other in the face while you're playing on the court. I think people will make way different decisions than the way they do now. What was the last concert you attended? The last concert I attended was the Kanye West concert. What's your favorite movie? Oh, that's a good question. I don't have a favorite favorite movie, but I would say off the top of my head, School of Rock, Inglorious Bastards. Those are the only two off the top of my head I can think of right now that I really, really like. What's your favorite TV show or online series? 
My favorite online TV show, well, my favorite TV show is Game of Thrones, and I fucking love it because every fucking episode is a movie. The art direction's on point, the locations are on point. When you go from uh, Cersei Lannister to Khaleesi, like the world changes like crazy. The plot and the writing is amazing, and people they speak in fucking poems all the time. You don't even know what the fuck they're saying, but you feel like you do, and it just sounds so deep. And the acting is on point, and then you got Peter Dinklage playing the imp and he kills it at that character this is all around a great show I don't want it to ever end what's your favorite color my favorite color is red what's your favorite song Ooh, man I don't have a favorite song I can't I can't I can't I can't, I can't say that I can't answer that I love so many fucking songs out there you want me to just name a couple all right I like uh, that new song by the weekend can't feel my face that sounds pretty dope. I like pretty much everything that Bruno Mars comes out with. Um, I like old school shit, Lakeside is one of my favorite bands. Um, there's this song called uh, Hey There Delilah, that full fucking sucks at singing, but the song's pretty dope. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is sushi, pizza, hamburgers, and steak and uh, Korean barbecue and Argentinian barbecue and Brazilian barbecue. What's your favorite season? My favorite season, at least the one that I experienced the most, is fall. I like fall a lot because it's way more cool and you get to see this change across like uh, forestry and the climate and people get all cozied up and you feel like winter's coming but it's not really there yet. So it's just a, it's a very festive, season it's a season of change and I really like that what's your favorite holiday my favorite holiday has to be Christmas you get presents you give people presents and you drink shit and everyone has a Santa Claus fucking hat on it's dope what's your favorite quote Ooh, damn you guys asking good questions my favorite quote is, I got a bunch of quotes I like, but my favorite, favorite one, I don't remember the quote, but, but uh, it has something to do with uh, um, pretty much people fail their way to success. It's something along those lines, where people, they usually think you succeed to your way to success, but that's not the case. The reason why you succeed is because you failed a million times and you learned all those mistakes and then you succeed. And that could be by Michael Jordan or Mark Twain, I don't really know. But somebody, someone important said it, so you should know it. Do you sing in the shower? I always sing in the fucking shower. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is fear of heights. I, I hate being up there and roller coasters and skydiving. <laughs> How would your friends describe you? My friends would probably describe me as a happy-go-lucky overgrown child. What are your hobbies? My hobbies include working out, eating, sleeping, watching movies, and violent shit. Do you collect anything? I don't collect anything. What was your first job? My first job ever? Fuck, I gotta think so far back. Um, oh, my first job ever, um, I was a tutor. I was actually in high school, but because I was really good at math, I was uh, freshman or sophomore and I was tutoring juniors and seniors. How many languages do you speak and speak them? I speak two languages, English, which is what I'm speaking right now, and I speak Chinese. 你好,我很喜欢放屁。我放屁的时候,我的女朋友会说很臭,可是其实很香. I said that um, I like to fart, and when I fart it actually smells really good, but my girlfriend thinks it smells bad. Where is the strangest place you have peed? The strangest place I have peed, um, so actually, if you guys don't know this, Jill's actually uh, in the set vicinity. So what I'm gonna say now is for this video purpose only, and she's not allowed to get mad after this video is over. Um, the last weirdest place that I remember I peed was outside of the office, we dumped where the whipped cream was, 
and uh, I forgot what they were meeting on and I didn't want to go back in. So I was on the phone with someone so I decided to be there while I was outside the office. <laughs> I think this was like last week. What's the most embarrassing thing your parents have ever caught you doing? I would say jacking off is probably the most embarrassing thing my parents have caught me doing. If you could travel anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? Um, I would go to Greece because number one, I love ancient civilizations. And there's this place called Santorini where the water is extremely blue. And Greece is one of the countries that share the Mediterranean. And I've always wanted to go there because when you watch like movies like Troy, or any of those uh, other ancient civilization in that area movie, when they're like on the rocks and they're like looking into the ocean and you could see where they would think Poseidon lives. So it's just that whole area has this very um, ancient but also mythical feel to it. And I wanna go and experience the nature as well as the history of it. You just found out you have a million dollars. What's the first thing you buy? Million dollars? The first thing I buy is a house. If you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? I would probably want to spend the whole day with one of the top CEOs of the world. So whether that's like uh, Larry Ellison of Oracle or Rob Dyrdek, just someone that's extremely influential, or Elon Musk, someone that's extremely influential and is widely considered as a genius and I wanna see what their daily activities are. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Shabu Shabu. Would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? I would rather drive a car. I love cars, and I like to go fast. And if I had a million dollars after the house, if I have money left over, I'm going to buy a fast-ass car. What regular or famous person would you want to be stranded with on a deserted island? If I was stranded on a deserted island, I would want to be paired up with Bear Grylls. He knows some shit about nature. If money was not an issue, what would you do all day? If money wasn't the issue, what would I do all day? I'd probably fuck around all day and uh, I'd probably do a bunch of creative stuff. I would make a song for fun and then I would make a short for fun and then I would probably just buy a building and not because I need the building but because I want to use the entire wall for my mural and paint a 500 by 250 square foot mural and do that and buy one of those things that can write in the air and draw very obscene pictures in the sky so that children can look up and look at it. That's what I would do. Pretty much what David Cho does if you guys follow him on Instagram. He does some weird shit and I like it. If you could go back in time, what year would you travel to? If I can go back in time, I would travel to... That's a good ass question. Off the top of my head, I would have to say the year that John F. Kennedy got assassinated. Though that's one of the biggest questions I've always had. Why is the government trying to hide this so hard? If you were ruler of your own country, what would be the first law you would introduce? If I was a ruler of my own country, the first law I would introduce is if there are two consenting adults, they're allowed to fight. If you could choose to stay a certain age forever, what age would that be? I would choose to be my current age forever. If you were immortal for a day, what would you do? If I was immortal for a day, I'd probably uh, rob a bank. So then I could go rob a bank and do all kinds of crazy shit and then they try to blast me with the bazooka but I just come back to life. No, but I'm not that negative though, see, see? See, you guys try to trick me with these things. I'm not, I'm not that negative. I don't like doing negative shit. I want to do productive shit. I would try to get over my fears. I would probably jump out of a plane like 6,000 times until I got used to it and go splat on the ground but come back to life. That's what I would do. If you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? I, I hated my name growing up because it sounded so fucking stupid, especially it was named by someone that doesn't speak English. Um, but, <laughs> but now I actually really like my name because it's unique. And if I were to change it, it would probably be, I don't know, Ladarius. So first of all, my dad's Cantonese, my mom is Chinese from Taiwan. 
So although they're both Chinese, they're different types of Chinese, and they also don't even have the same accent. So when my dad got from Patton, his is like ba ten, but then my mom is ba chen. So even between those two, they can't really uh, come to a consensus on how to say my name properly. But that's uh, that's how my parents call my call me call call me. If you can meet anyone living or dead, who would you meet? If I could meet anyone living or dead, I would want to meet Richard Branson. He is someone that I would like to um, I would like to be like, and he lives a life that I, I I feel like I would really enjoy. So he runs a lot of companies, but he also lives on an island. And I'm a super beach person. I love the beach, but I also really enjoy business. And I think he does a great job of being able to combine both of his loves and have it uh, work harmoniously. If you could know the answer to any question besides, what is the meaning of life? What would it be? Why are girls so stupid? If you could be any fictional character, who would you choose? Wolverine. So Wolverine, he's the ultimate badass in my opinion. Number one, he pretty much cannot be killed except by a few, a few ways. Um, he has adamantium in his bones, which is the hardest metal, believe it or not. And uh, so he can't be crushed or anything like that. And he has adamantium claws. So anytime he wants, he's prepared with weapons. He heals extremely fast. So he could probably, he can probably work out like 20 times in three days and he'll be able to recover. Not to mention he can heal from bullet wounds and he can smell shit. So like he could be chilling at the restaurant. He could be like, I can smell the bad guys coming. So he's an animal, but in a man's form. Have you ever had surgery? No, I've never had surgery. What is your favorite childhood memory? My childhood kind of sucked. So I don't really have that many good memories as a child. I guess one of the most memorable childhood memories is, um, I don't know why I did this, but every time I had any <laughs> fleece, like a sweater or sweatpants, I always like to flip the inside out, and you know where it's all fuzzy? I like to pick at it where it's all soft. And, I, and like when you start picking at it, you guys probably don't know this, but you could pick at it until it becomes like this really soft thing, and I would just put it on my nose and I go like this. What did you want to be when you were younger? When I was younger and I was stupid as shit, and I didn't know what anything was, I wanted to be an army man. That's what I told my dad. I had this toy, and it's like this, uh, you put like a, like a little, um, you know those square batteries? Then they're like, what cell? They're not D-cell. So you know what I'm talking about. They're like the, the batteries that, and both ends are on one end and you plug them into his back. And when he pressed on, like this guy goes, eh, eh, eh. so he just crawls. And I was like, I want to be that guy. What was the first thing you learned how to cook? The first thing I learned how to cook was eggs. Scrambled eggs. And it was because I was trying to fry them and I popped the yolk. So I just scrambled them together. <laughs> what is the best gift you have been given? The best gift that I have been given is... What did you give me? Did you give me anything, Gio? No. The best gift I've ever been given, I guess the most memorable gift that I've ever been given was a car. Um, when I graduated boot camp, my mom was actually really proud of me and she bought me a Toyota Tacoma. And uh, I really liked that car, and that was, that was like my dream car. What is the worst gift you have received? I don't remember worst gifts, actually, because I actually like all gifts, even if they, they don't make sense or they're useless, because they come from a good place. So uh, I don't think there's that category in my brain even exists where I'm like, oh, that's a fucking shitty gift category. Fuck that. I don't have that. Have you ever worn the same underwear for more than two days in a row? Oh, of course. Uh, there's times where I've worn the underwear. Um, I think the limit is three days before you have to flip it inside out, and then I have to flip it inside out, and then uh, I wore that for like another three days. And I think it's, I forgot to do laundry in college or something, but people don't really uh, see what's on the inside, so it doesn't really matter. It is pretty disgusting, I don't do that now, but I had to do it a couple times. Have you ever re-gifted something that you received as a gift? All the fucking time. So ever since I was a kid, 
my mom was cheap as fuck, and every time I got a toy, I would, the only, all I got to do was look at the box and be like, oh fuck, this is a Nerf gun, this is what I always wanted, and my mom's like, oh perfect, kids like this, I was like, yes, this would be perfect for Adrian's birthday, here, let's repackage it and we'll give it to him so we can save money on presents, so, uh, that's how my mom saved money on presents, where I, whenever, whatever present I got, she would just repackage it and give it off to her other co-workers' little kids, so I never really got parent, uh, presents that much. Have you ever shit your pants? I have shit my pants before. Um, one time, I forgot if I was at home, but I just remember uh, I was farting, and I was like, wait, this fart doesn't want to come out. So I pushed hard, and then I just felt this torpedo like blast um, through my asshole, and I was like, that is an interesting fart to feel like that. And then as I was walking around, I felt kind of warm. I'm like, why does it feel warm in my underwear? It shouldn't be like that. And then uh, I pulled down my pants, and lo and behold, there was a little brown torpedo that shot out and was just stuck to the back of my underwear. What are you currently listening to? I'm currently listening to uh, that new Justin Bieber album with Diplo and Skrillex. That's just pretty tight. And uh, that's all I'm listening to that's really new and new these days. What are five things you do every single day? Every single day, um, I piss Gio off. I make her happy. I eat something delicious. I uh, put my contacts in. And I squeeze the shit out of my dogs. Aside from necessities, what's the one thing you could not go a day without? I can go without anything, to be honest. Um, I told Gio this before, but I feel like I can be homeless and be just as happy. So um, I don't really need much. I feel like if I was homeless and I lived like in a cardboard box somewhere, I'd probably be like one of the happiest motherfuckers on Skid Row. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? It takes me 2 minutes and 46 seconds. What kitchen appliance do you use every day? The water faucet. What's one item you always have in your fridge? Ketchup. What sound do you love? I love the sound of dogs. Not barking, because that just makes you want to kill them. But when they make like little weird like or they go like I like all those sounds. Do you want children one day? Honestly, I don't really care about my own children, which is why I, I for sure would adopt later on. Um, but so like I'm not one of those guys that are like completely adamant about having to have children. I have to pass on my genes or anything like that. But um, but I'm also thinking of that through the perspective of my age right now. So. Because of that, I'm scared that like if I actually put off children and then later on, I'm like, you know what, I do want children, but now both me and Gio like aren't medically um, able to have children. I don't want to regret that. So because of that, I still want to like to have children because I don't hate children. I just, you know, I just don't know if I, I'm not one of those guys that are compelled to have to have my own children. Do you want to be married one day? Oh, I already made that mistake. Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself on uh, Garvey Avenue at JJ's getting a baked pork chop. What is one thing you will never do again? Ooh. The one thing I'll never do again is go on any roller coaster that goes upside down. I fucking hate roller coasters and um, Someone tricked me and they told me that if you can get over the fear of roller coasters by going on roller coasters And I went to this one at Knott's Berry Farm and it was called Hammerhead And I remember this because it shook me so fucking hard that half of the stuff in my pockets flew out So it's this thing that, so if you can imagine everyone, imagine you take a bus and you cut it in half You take the, throw the lid away, everyone's sitting here This thing is rotating constantly like this as it's attached to another lever and it's being spun around like this. So it's spinning around like this while rotating and then it stops and then it starts doing like this thing and then it starts spinning and it, is, it just fucks you up. Never doing roller coasters ever again. I did not get over the fear of roller coasters and I lost all the change in my, in my pants. What's one thing you'll never stop doing? 
I'll never stop working out. I love working out um, just for the sake of working out. I really enjoy exercise and um, I haven't stopped for the past 15 or 16 years and I don't think I can ever stop. Thanks for watching this getting to know me tag. Hopefully you guys learn more stuff about me. I actually learned some stuff about myself and everything I said was off the top of the dome to try to give you the most genuine answer possible. Thank you for watching Just Kidding Films and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, interact with us so we can interact with you. Peace. The last video is over here.